Well, as promised for you guys, I picked up an L speedometer and it is electric. So I will be doing the tutorial today. So let's head downstairs and build it. <laughs> okay guys, for this tutorial you're gonna need a few things. Uh, first, and most importantly, you're going to need a cluster from uh, an 88 with the tack. Uh, it's gonna have an L, well it's gonna have an L. I'll shape speedometer, but it's gonna be cable driven and we don't want that. So the second most important thing you're gonna need is an L-shaped speedometer that's electric. And then um, you're gonna need the, I don't know, ribbon circuit board thing that came off the electric uh, cluster. You're gonna need a 732 inch socket, some wire cutters, a few pieces of wire, some scissors, I use a drill because it's just a lot easier and I'm really lazy. Uh, safety glasses, uh, soldering gun, and a Dremel tool. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is take apart the cluster. Just make sure it's all tight. It should have about six bolts on the outside. This is why I like the drill. <laughs> so it's really easy. You might have a bit of trouble getting this uh, gray piece off from the back piece because um, the gauges are all plugged into here and they're pressed in pretty good, so uh, it's a little bit tricky. Okay, now that it's apart, we need to remove the old cable driven speedometer. We just set this to the side. Won't need it for a little while. Okay, it should have three bolts here, here, and here. So just undo those. And she should come right off just like that. So we can take our electric one and pop it back in place. It should be a direct fit. To take these little funky things off. Just fit right in, just like that. Before we this intro, as I'm seeing. Okay, now we gotta cut this out. We will be careful and we'll cut out around these four wires, or these four traces here. We'll cut those out very carefully so that we don't cut through these, because they are the very important part. It doesn't matter how clean or whatever it looks. Um, I'm obsessed with compulsive, so I gotta make everything neat. Otherwise, I'll go crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but Chevy's starting to whine. He's sitting on the couch behind me. Alright, that's all we need. So now we have this, we can actually just plug it onto it. Okay, now we will have to trim the back of this. So if I remember correctly, this has to come out. And we'll have to cut this whole section off and a little bit down there so that we'll have enough clearance to fit in. Okay, time to get cut. Um, I got my safety glasses on because you don't want to get any of this uh, plastic stuff in your eyes. It hurts like hell. It 
is a little bit messy, so you're going to have to clean up afterwards. Should be it. We'll take it out a little bit there so we can put that up. Oh. I don't think that was actually in the way at all, but I'm obsessed with the pulses after a little bit. Okay guys, I just got it back together. I had to pull the automatic thingy a little bit, so. so that it would fit properly. Um, it's just a pain in the butt if you still got it in, so now we shall put the screws back in and then we'll get on to the wiring, which is the fun part. Okay guys, um, one thing with the wiring that you're going to want to note, um, this far one is positive, this middle one is the data or the uh, signal and this one is the negative. This one is not used and these last four go to here for the speedometer to work. Okay guys, we got all the wiring figured out. See right there? Uh, ERD. Frick, come on, stop glaring. That's the ground one, so I'm putting the ground there. I will put positive here because it says ignition there and the data will go there. Okay guys, well I got the ground soldered down, I got the power wire soldered down, and I got the signal wire soldered, so I think we're done. It's good to go. Cool. So total time to do this mod was about, from start to finish, about half an hour, so it's, it's a really easy mod to do. Um, now that I've made a video tutorial about it, I'm sure you guys will be like, oh yeah, let's go do this, this is awesome. So, that's all you need to do for this mod, it's quite easy, so. And if you ever need to take it apart, um, this and this, they just unplug and it'll come out with the rest of the ribbon circuit board, so. Yeah. Easy, easy modification, guys. <laughs> Alright, well, take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.